Hi, and welcome to this information video about the Master's Specialization Science in Society at the Faculty of Science of Radboud University, Nijmegen. My name is Jeremias Herberg, and I'm an assistant professor at the Institute for Science in Society and coordinator of this master program. The Master's Specialization Science in Society addresses a tricky question. How do science and society influence each other? The corona crisis has shown how important this question is. The societal impact of science is clearly huge, but also the other way around, social developments deeply shape scientific practice. Citizens, for example, increasingly challenge or sometimes participate in the making of scientific knowledge. This happens in domains like health, sustainability or innovation. Think of how citizens participate in scientific research to help solve societal challenges such as biodiversity loss or the development of new biomedical technologies. Another example is the ongoing discussion about good science and cases of scientific fraud or error. Scientific facts cannot be taken for granted. They underpin our communication and decision making while being increasingly contested. This is a key learning for students of science in society. Students use this master to gain a broader perspective on your own uh, scientific field. And they should uh, choose this master if they also really like the social aspect of science and if they really like working with other people. You enroll in the Science in Society specialization in your second year of your master's at the Radboud Faculty of Science. In that process, you can choose between a societal track and a philosophical track. No matter which track, all students have a common basis in three core courses. First of all, you learn about the methods that social scientists and philosophers use. In the first two periods, you will start with a broad overview so that you understand how researchers in social science and the humanities work. Afterwards, you dive deeper into social scientific and philosophical research methods with a focus on either qualitative research or philosophical concepts and conversations. Second, you learn how innovations emerge and often have unintended consequences. The course Research Responsibility and Uncertainty teaches you why it is important to include social groups in the making of technology. You will get to know the different approaches to anticipating and regulating technology development. Third, in the course Framing Knowledge, you will investigate how language and perception shape scientific research. Because, depending on background and audience, we frame scientific knowledge differently. You learn how culture shapes the communication between science and society and vice versa. Next to the three core courses, you have plenty of pathways to link your interests to the Science and Society program. As said, you choose between a social scientific and a philosophical track. Next to that, there are two three-point courses, which you can choose freely in coordination with the lecturers who supervise you. So, in this way, you can partially build your personal science and society curriculum.